Today, let's explore a topic that invites us to dive into the realm of the spiritual and the divine. How does God speak to us? It's a question that often sparks curiosity, wonder, and contemplation. While the ways in which we perceive divine communication may vary, let's embark on a journey of understanding that holds the potential to be both enlightening and deeply motivating. The notion of God speaking to us might conjure images of thunderous voices or grand visions, but let's consider that divine communication often comes in subtler, more nuanced forms. Just as a gentle breeze can stir the leaves on a tree, so too can the whispers of the divine stir our hearts and minds. First and foremost, God speaks to us through the language of intuition. Have you ever experienced a strong gut feeling, a hunch that led you down a path that turned out to be just right? That could very well be a form of divine guidance. Often those quiet promptings are invitations to take a leap of faith or to make a choice that aligns with our higher purpose. Similarly, God speaks to us through the wisdom of our inner voice. In moments of stillness and reflection, we can hear the gentle whispers of guidance, offering insights and solutions that may have eluded us in the chaos of everyday life. This inner wisdom can be likened to a compass that points us toward the right direction. Consider the people who come into our lives seemingly by chance, offering timely advice or a helping hand. These interactions could be seen as divine appointments, moments when God's presence is felt through the kindness and wisdom of others. Pay attention to these connections, as they may carry messages meant just for you. Moreover, God often speaks to us through signs and synchronicities, have you ever noticed a repeated pattern or a series of coincidences that seem too perfect to be accidental? These moments can be interpreted as divine messages, guiding us on our path and reassuring us that we are not alone. Nature also holds a powerful language of divine communication. The beauty of a sunrise, the serenity of a forest, or the rhythm of ocean waves can stir a sense of awe and connection to something greater than ourselves. In these moments, it's as if God is painting His messages across the canvas of the natural world, inviting us to be present and attuned. Moreover, God speaks to us through the written word. Sacred texts, inspirational books, and even the wisdom of poets and philosophers can carry messages that resonate deeply within our souls. These words can illuminate our minds and hearts, guiding us toward truth and understanding. As we navigate life's challenges, God often speaks to us through adversity. It's during our moments of struggle that we can find hidden strengths and untapped resources within us. These experiences teach us resilience, compassion, and the capacity to overcome even the most daunting obstacles. Lastly, God speaks to us through the stillness of our hearts. In moments of meditation, prayer, or quiet contemplation, we create a space where we can listen to the whispers of the divine. It's in these moments of connection that we can feel the presence of God's love peace, and guidance enveloping us. So, my dear friends, as we contemplate how God speaks to us, let us remember that divine communication is not confined to grand gestures, but is woven into the fabric of our everyday lives. Let us cultivate an openness to the subtle ways in which the divine reaches out to us, guiding us, inspiring us, and nurturing our souls. May you find solace in intuition, wisdom in inner reflection, and awe in the beauty of the world around you. Embrace the signs, the people, and the experiences that carry messages meant for you. And above all, nurture the stillness within your heart, for in that sacred space you'll discover the whispers of God's love, guidance, and eternal presence. Thank you, and may you walk forward with a heightened awareness of the many ways in which God speaks to you, leading you on a path of purpose, growth, and connection to the divine.